Right folks, morning. As you can see, it's a bit misty. Uh, apologies for the for the slight pause in videos. It's uh, school holidays and all that, and my time is a little bit limited through this period. So you know, I'll do my best to get these videos out where I can. Um, but yeah, this morning I was a bit fifty-fifty about coming out because uh, the forecast said fog, and everything last night before I went to bed told me that there wasn't going to be fog. So it was quite hard to drag myself out at uh, three o'clock this morning but as you can see behind me we have some fog and uh, it couldn't be better you might be able to tell I'm up at home fell uh, as it's heather season and it's always nice to come up here and uh, have a look how things are progressing it's a, it's a little bit early uh, at the moment it's probably about a week or so off best but uh, really I'm here for the mist this morning so I've come out to the far side of the fell facing the sun uh, rising and uh, I'm just waiting it out at the minute because even though I'm socked in I think the action is going to start happening when the sun gets up above the mist so I'm going to have a little look around here for some compositions because it's a little bit tricky at the minute with all the mist it's hard to really tell what you're going to do until the sun comes up but I think I'm in a pretty good spot here so let's get cracking and, and try and get something set up Okay, so the wind just picked up there and I'm hoping this isn't the sign that all this lovely mist is going to get blown away because uh, if it hangs around, this is, this is really nice. I've just very quickly there, just grabbed a shot looking down towards uh, this little, uh, well, I don't know if one of them's dead or not. I think the middle tree's dead. Um, but this worked quite nicely with a little bit of a lead in line with the the heather there just a, a little bit of a grab more than anything else just while i'm waiting for the the sun to come up it's uh maybe about what time are we on oh no but next 10 minutes sun will be up and then probably another 20 minutes after that and we'll start to see some light hitting this mist hopefully it'll stick around uh just while i'm waiting um a little bit of a little bit of gear news i've just bought the 100 to 400 millimeter lens that i've been absolutely pining for um for quite a while there's been loads of occasions especially like this morning where you're wanting to pick off uh, details in the in the far distance and i've just just been finding a lot that i'm just lacking a little bit of reach so that's coming tomorrow so hopefully i'll get another video out quite soon and we'll we'll test that one out uh, I'm just going to have a little play with this one and just try and refine it a little bit more. Maybe take a couple more compositions while I'm just waiting for this sun. Uh, but this one, this one looks alright. So, as you can see now, the uh, the light has come up. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm like a coiled spring at the minute. I'm just waiting for the visibility on the trees to improve a little bit because while it's it's brilliant to the naked eye here, I still can hardly see these trees. So until I can, I'm just going to wait and uh, and get this shot uh, when it starts to appear a bit better it's it's a little bit panic stations when it's like this if i'm honest though because even though you can know a location like this and i've been here you know countless times when it's this misty you never know quite what you're going to shoot and how the mist is going to pan out around certain trees so you can have an idea of a composition in your mind but if the mist isn't landing on that spot then you know it goes out the window and you've got to kind of adapt on the hoof so anyway the trees just start to come into view now so i'm going to get this shot oh my now would you look at that as a guy on a famous tv show once said i love it when a plan comes together and it looks like this one has come together
Right, I'll try this again. I already tried recording this once, but I kept getting this clicking. I don't know if it's somewhat on the mic or not, but uh, hopefully I've sorted it. If I haven't, I do apologise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was laughing to myself there before because I have always said in these videos that if it starts kicking off, I'll uh, I'll bin the video because uh, really, for me, it's uh, or it should be really, I think, for anyone to try and get the best shot possible. And when you get conditions like this, the video can be a bit of a hindrance. So park the video for a minute. I hope uh, hope you don't mind. I'll try and talk you through what I was shooting there. Um, as I was mentioning before, when the sun gets above the back of Tom Heights here, everything starts to kick off. Fortunately, I was banging the right place. Um, just amazing conditions. It's, uh, it's like fish, shooting fish in a barrel when it's like this and uh, the first shot i was going for there i was saying about not having enough reach fortunately i had enough reach there the 24 to 200 on and i was going quite tight in on those i forget what the focal length was i would imagine it's probably about 150 and just trying to isolate those two trees i think that's probably going to be the best shot of the set that i've just done uh, but i was just moving around there and just trying to pick them off um just as the the mist is uh changing over these trees when it's like this you can have the best plans in the world and the best composition in your mind but ultimately if the mist isn't in the right place then you've got to adapt and try and sort of work on the hoof a little bit so hopefully i've done that here uh the second shot i was going for uh quite a well commonly shot this one actually it's one i've tried to avoid in the past but when the conditions are like this then uh, you know it's certainly worth taking one uh, these two prominent trees in the foreground the one on the left uh, the one on its own it's got a lovely kink to it in the middle lovely shape uh, so i was just taking a couple there as well uh, all pretty simple stuff f8 focused on the trees and bracketing the exposures just to make sure i protect the highlights because i'm shooting straight into the sun here and obviously I don't want to get back in post and find that uh, the highlights have been blown. So I'm just going to work on maybe a couple more here because the light's still good. I'm pretty relaxed about it now. I think I've got the best of it, uh, hence why I'm talking you through it. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can get another one before I go. Um, wind's starting to pick up and the temperature's rising, so I don't think this mist's going to last very long. So even if I don't get anything else this morning, it's been a success. So yeah and see what, what else we can get. So, as luck would have it, having finished over that side of the fell, uh, facing towards the sun, I've come over the other side, shooting towards the Langdale Pikes, thinking there wouldn't be anything, and the mist has pretty much enveloped the whole of the mid-ground here, down towards the quarry, and it's making for a really nice scene, just providing a, a bit more of a layering effect, and obviously with this being uh, heather season, it would be... You know, wrong of me not to take a heather shot while I was here. Uh, so I'm just experimenting with this little sort of ridge line here and playing around with portrait compositions, trying to fit the heather in. This one I've got set up. We've got the side light hitting these foreground rocks and little patches of heather. And then we've got bits in shadow as well. It's that light and shadow that gives you that depth in the scene. And uh, then we've got obviously got that lovely mist in the mid-ground towards the Langdale Pikes. Uh, I was thinking this was going to be one of those inversions where 
you know, you've got lovely inversion and then completely blue sky above, but we've actually got a little bit of cloud now uh, draped across the top of the mountain. So that's really helping this because I think if it was a blank blue sky, I'm not sure I'd be that interested in taking this shot. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to play around with a couple of ones here, maybe one in portrait, one in landscape, and then I'm going to, for the last part of this shoot, I think, or certainly the last part of doing the video anyway, I'm going to concentrate on the view down towards, um, well, looking towards the sort of Fairfield range, because the, the mist is really thick over there, and as it starts to dissipate, more and more of those trees are going to start popping up and give more opportunities for long lens stuff, which is really more what I'm interested in this morning. Uh, I do like this view towards the Langdale Pikes, obviously I've shot it many times before, but I do think the more interesting stuff is when you're shooting with a long lens here. And uh, that's really what my focus was this morning, but I'll put uh, this one on the screen and let me know what you think anyway. Right, I'm gonna finish up here, I think. As, uh, oh, killed myself. Uh, yeah, I think I've had the best of it. Light's a bit harsh now, and uh, I did try and get over the other side of that ridge with the long lens, but I couldn't really make anything work. And truth be told, I'm pretty happy with the stuff I've already got from this morning, although you never want to tempt fate. Uh, but going off the back of the camera, they look pretty good. Uh, so yeah, just a quick plug while I'm here, my, uh, calendar for next year has just gone on sale, uh, priced $16.99 and the pre-orders will run till middle of November and then it'll start shipping. So just in time for Christmas, a nice little stocking filler. So if you want to support my work, that's the, the best way you can do that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, and also I've just got a, a new newsletter out, which has got a lovely article in it, a uh, feature with the very first UK landscape photographer of the year, John Gibbs, uh, fantastic photographer. He's dipped his toe in vlogging um, and then he's had a, a bit of a break from it, but I think he's, rumour has it, he's looking to looking to get back into it. So yeah, I'd love to see that because he's a, a good mate and, uh, and a really good photographer. So I'll put a, a link for that as well. Right, I need to get back for dad duty, school holidays and all that. So. Keep liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.